and all tech and art hope you guys doing good safe and sound so today we are going to discuss about you know uh, how to prevent the unexpected growth for a database tempdb so tempdb is one of the major database uh, for the sql server instance so in this video i am going to discuss about what are the settings required to you know unexpected growth of tempdb so if you do the follow the all the steps and then you analyze so probably the unexpected tempdb growth will be resolved so the best practice is tempdb system database you can see here i have mentioned the couple of points we'll go one by one points and we'll discuss each points in details and how it is helpful so whenever you configure the tempdb you need to focus on these four five points and then you can analyze in your you know environment uh, whether the tempdb behavior is how it is after this setting okay so we'll go one by one uh, in this setting so the first one is you know the tempdb the number of database file size you know based on your logical processor and it is recommended for 8 so let's say you have the logical processor uh, 8 then you can put the tempdb file you know 8 and you have the capability to extend the you know uh, in terms of multiple of force right so if you have the more than eight processor so you can increase the based on the demand uh, in the multiple of force let's say if required uh, more than eight files so then if you go 16 right so 32 in this in this series you can go by multiple of force so check your logical processor how it is if it is uh, you know it recommended is like eight files should be there for a tempdb the second thing is make sure the tempdb file have the equal size what does mean actually so let's say uh, you have the two tb uh, data, uh, two terabyte drive size for tempdb okay so let's divide the equal size of all those eight files and give the uh, equal size of each files right so that will also improve your uh, parallel operation efficiency the third is configure the temp database data and log files for the reasonable initial size auto growth and that you know first the expect amount of data uh, that will retain in the database file so basically what they are trying to say so initial temp db file size give the sufficient amount of files when you creating the you know instance give the sufficient amount of tempdb files and then analyze your application demand uh, how the tempdb is behaving very initial only you provide the sufficient equal size for all the each database okay the fourth one is you know locate the tempdb files in a faster io subsystem tempdb always the, your drive behaves very faster because uh, each you know <coughs> operation utilizing the tempdb each kind of sort application insert updates right they are using the temp variables so where it is going it is going in a tempdb only so any kind of user doing the any activity on a particular instance particular database obviously that query is using the some amount of tempdb so on a tempdb io frequency is very high so you should keep the tempdb with the higher higher io system so your drives uh, behavior is you know it's not beyond the io bottleneck it should be working as expected and the locate the tempdb on a separate disk this is the highly recommended you should not merge the you know drive uh, with for the other things tempdb always should have the sufficient uh, separate drive right so these settings you can do and then you see that after these setting still your temp db is uh, going to you know occupied all of the sudden and so all those setting settings after that you have to identify whether the temp db you know uh, getting regularly it's getting fooled or due to some operation it's getting fooled so those things you have to identify let's say some maintenance job is running index op optimize or something and during that time frame temp db is getting full obviously they will utilize the temp db right so it's getting full and 
and there is a scenario uh, in any operation uh, happening from the application side and it's utilizing the hard tab db and it's getting keep fooling okay so those things you have to identify if it is due to the our maintenance jobs then there is a scope to you know uh, you will get the alert for tab db during that time frame so it which means the, the provided space is not sufficient that's the reason it's reaching to your alert threshold right so you can extend some amount of time to be drive and then you further you analyze in the next job run whether the this particular uh, this time uh, again we are receiving the alert or not if we are not then definitely uh, you know your issue is resolved and if the scenario is like you know your application is utilizing the time to be very frequent the particular query is utilizing high amount of time to be they are occupying the temp drive continuously for the longer time and all so those query you need to identify why they are using the temp db space occupying for the longer time why why it's required this much time variable temp db space so those query need to tune and on all so these are the things first you do these settings and then analyze then only you can prevent your unexpected growth of temp db otherwise it will not help so these are the troubleshoot steps to figure out the temp db unexpected is to uh, growth so well that's it for today you can do this setting in your system and then analyze it and uh, i'm closing this video today for now we'll meet in next video soon till then bye bye thank you keep watching